air water and soil air is all around us but we cannot see it clean air does not have any color taste or smell let's see the properties of air i like sea breeze air has weight air takes up space it can be pushed into a smaller space that is called compression air can move and lift things our earth is covered by an enormously thick layer called atmosphere oxygen makes up about one fifth of the air around us it also contains carbon dioxide water vapor nitrogen and many other gases majority of our atmosphere is filled with nitrogen the amount of water vapor in the air is called humidity air may contain smoke and dust this is called pollution the smoke from the vehicles factories and dust pollutes the air water is a wonder liquid it's very essential for life now we are going to see an interesting topic the rain cycle we all love the rain right yes but how do we get the rain we will learn it now the water found in the sea lake and river always evaporates this is because of the heat of the sun the water vapor formed mixes with the air when it goes up in the air it forms clouds if the cloud passes through a cool place the water vapor condenses the tiny drops of water come together to form bigger drops these drops come down as rain the rain water flows back into the lakes rivers and sea there it starts to evaporate again in this way evaporation and condensation takes place one after another again and again scientists call this the rain cycle or the water cycle wow the rain cycle is really interesting water resources like rivers groundwater lakes and ponds are polluted by washing clothes bathing and industrial waste pollution is not good for health and hygiene drinking water must be purified by filtering or boiling there are many other methods like sedimentation decantation and filtration to purify water we have a water purifier at home the outermost layer of the earth's crust is called soil soils are of different kind they differ in color and texture soil contains air and moisture the three main types of soil are sand clay and loam loam soil is the best for plants as it contains humus which provides nutrients for plants humus is naturally formed from dead animals and from plants fertilizers give the essential salts and minerals needed for the plants especially when the soil does not have enough of them many animals live in the soil rabbits make their burrows below the ground ants beetles bugs snail and scorpions live in the soil earthworms feed on decaying vegetable matter and enrich the soil so they are called the friends of farmers it is the duty of everyone to keep the surroundings clean we should always keep our home streets and school clean